Hey guys, Wobble here, and I'm just gonna, I don't know how to talk about this, because this just happened a couple hours ago, and the title and video might be a little controversial, but I'm just gonna come out, as you can tell the title, um, there's a 90 to 95 chance, 95 to 99 percent chance that I'm gonna end up uh, quitting my job for a couple of reasons. And many of you guys know I've been a sales associate for a shoe store at my local mall uh, for about almost a year now. And I was trying to reach it for a year and something happened to where I'm afraid to show back up. So I'll tell you the, the story about it and a couple things that I've had issues with the work before. But I just want to go ahead and get off my chest right now. So today we were, uh, I was talking to a couple of uh, high schoolers and I had this, this 17 year old Hispanic girl that works there. She was complaining or talking about how her race the hispanic people were always leaving the messes behind and me and like a couple other people say yeah that's true they always leave a mess and that's and then i'm not talking about that in general like many people leave big messes behind in the store they leave shoes on the floor they leave boxes open boxes on the floor to where to where i'm like thinking dude i'm here to sell you shoes i'm not here to clean up after you and i agree with that and I was jumping on the register because I knew how to do the cash register and all that. And I did a little bit of it because they asked for help. And as I was getting ready to leave, well, about 30, about 45, 30 minutes before I leave, I hear the, uh, the Hispanic girl and another co-worker talking. And I hear the Hispanic girl telling the manager at the time that I was being racist and that I was the one who was saying that Mex the Mexicans always leave a mess on the floor, which I never switched. None of that came out of my mouth. And I was simply agreeing with what the Hispanic girl was saying because, yes, 90% 90 of the time, m most of the people who leave the messes, messes behind are Hispanic people. And I'm not just saying, oh, it gets annoying when they leave it. That's for everybody in general. People who leave a big mess in the store, it gets irritating because, like I said, I'm here to buy, sell you shoes. I'm not here to here to clean up after you and unfortunately 95 percent of the time people who leave a mess are the hispanic people but she ha but she told the manager that i said that i didn't say hispanic people i said mexican people and then uh some guy that's saying that oh the the boss said uh the cell associates were not allowed to jump on the register unless they knew it which i was completely doing because the manager asked for help and another cashier asked for help because we were today sunday and what bit, bit sunday is the busiest part of the week so i jumped on the register and so that literally pissed me off to no end so when they got out of the office, I ended up putting my walkie back. I ended up throwing away the charm blade, the bracelet that the girl gave me for whatever reason. And before I left, I looked at this and I said, you need to quit spreading the lies out of, out of, you said, you need to quit spreading the lies and keep my name out of your fucking mouth and walked out. And I'm just thinking, I just screwed everything up because I had this job for a year. I loved everybody working there. I got along with pretty much everybody. I loved the environment. I loved the discounts at the pretzel place. I loved the discounts at the food court. But to spread lies and accuse me of something I'm do not doing and doing my job when I'm supposed to while you're goofing off back there kind of pisses me off to no end. So I kind of get mad. I called, them, called my parents and said, hey, you need to come get me because I'm going to end up either walking out of this job or end up getting arrested getting arrested because I was no furious to no one. So I walked out, I called my mom back and I just completely lost it. I broke down crying on the side of the sidewalk outside the mall because I was just very upset. And Jerpy told many of you guys know I'm on the autism spectrum and this is probably a meltdown that I've had I've never had I've first meltdown I ever had in a very long time to where I couldn't even control myself to where I was just crying at the top of my lungs to where I would like I, I kept mom telling my mom I fucked up I fucked up I'm sorry I didn't mean to I'm sorry but it got to the point where I couldn't even breathe on the phone I was hyperventilating too much I was crying to where I couldn't speak and it's just upsetting to know that I worked I was working in a place that I thought was good and I would get along but spreading lies and saying something I've never I haven't done that just upsets me to no end, and I haven't done anything wrong. The only thing, bad thing I did was tell the two guy, two people that said I'm doing this stuff to quit spreading and to keep my name out of my fucking mouth. So, but that literally upset, literally upset me. Like I said, I was on the phone, I was screaming, I was crying at the top of my lungs. It was just upsetting, and I couldn't even talk. So we talked it out. So I tried to call my boss and try to explain what's going to happen, but I haven't heard anything from her. From what I heard, I think she's out of town or something, but. I'm not gonna waste anybody's time. I'm probably I'm probably not gonna go back to work up there. I've been already looking for other jobs. I applied for Best Buy. I applied for Hot Topic. I applied for uh, what else? Did I apply. I applied for 
a couple other different places already. This already happened earlier today. I was going to post a Rob Boy Bags video, but the video got copyright and got blocked by right like barely the second I uploaded it. So I literally don't know. So as of right now, I'm unfortunately jobless again, which fucking sucks because it took me over two years to find another, to find a job. And I hope it doesn't take me that long. I just, I don't want to be the going back to where, and plus I got so much shit to pay. I have a thousand dollar Best Buy credit card that I got to pay. I have to pay this $1,500 payment. I have it at Walmart, the firm. And just when I thought things were like, oh great, I got a microphone. I got a microphone stand. I got a new computer. I got a new webcam. I just fucked it all up. Now I didn't do anything wrong, but I don't know. So I don't know. I just at this point I don't know what to do. I have so many things going around in my head. I just have no idea what to do. I'm apologizing if I'm looking at the computer because my webcam used to be right there, but I moved it over there because this is how originally I was supposed to do the wobble reaction. I thought this would be a good angle, but I, at this point I really don't know what to do. I'm like literally the vein. Do I just want to just say screw it and not go back? Or just talk about it. I, at this point, I'm not. And plus, I've had many issues with a couple of different workers there for a brief moment. There was a manager there that was a girl, and she had favorites. And we all knew who the favorites was, and I was not one of the favorites. In fact, I was probably one of her least favorites. I don't know what I said or did to her not to like me so much. She worked me ten times more than anybody else when I had the clothes with her. She had the nerve to tell the main boss that I was a bad person or a bad boy for going to hang out with a girl after work. One of the girl co-workers at the work, I'm thinking, why isn't any of you saying, number one, you're married, and number two, why isn't any of you saying, why are you just trying to make my life miserable? And there was another work girl that worked there. She, I was getting, we were goofing off, and she told me to calm my, my titties or something. I said the same thing one day later. She goes, if you say that again, I'll port you to HR and tell the main boss. I'm like, you told me the same damn thing. Why is it offended to you? I'm like, well, I'm a girl. I can say whatever I want. I'm like, no, you can't, but So I, I just point, I really don't know what to do. So at this point, I'm just I'm not asking for donation. I still got 150 bucks. I'm just gonna hold on to that for as long as I can. I just I literally don't know what to do. I'm just so many things I'm going around. Every time I ask for help for PayPal or Cash App, nobody wants to help. So I I literally don't know what to, I'm gonna do. So I think right now I'm just not gonna go back to there anymore. I'm already applying. Like I said, I applied for Hot Topic so far. I applied for Best Buy so far. Right now I gotta video interview coming in a few days i already emailed me saying they're interested in interviewing me through video so hopefully i may get a job for best buy who knows but if you guys can can you leave me some positive messages or something just tell me to, some positive messages i don't really don't know i just need some s support right now at this point i'm just thinking i don't know what i'm gonna do so um sorry for another sappy video i'm just got so much shit on my mind i literally don't know what i'm gonna do so i'm gonna end it here thank you guys a lot for watching See you guys next time. Take it easy.